ready to introduce Little Dank. Look, hey, Dank Junior, Junior Hustler, <laughs> and Big Dank. <laughs> Big Dank, come on <laughs> in, y'all. Yeah. What up, what up? What's, what's up, up Dank Daddy? What's going on? I see you, man. Big <laughs> Dank, what's, what's up, up man? My dude, right? right. Look, Dank, what's up, man? Right. Like, How you doing? Good. Nice How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi. Man, nice to have both y'all on the show, man. Very much. <laughs> have a oh seat. My gosh. Come on, have a seat on up here with us. Aww. <laughs> no. No What's your name? Delonjay. All Delon right. Day. <laughs> go, go. What's going on, Dank? Not too much. Working. Working. As usual. Oh, yeah, I hear you a hustler. So we got Big Dank here, Lil Dank here. Oh, man, Dank in the building. In the building. Dank Liddy Junior. Right. So, like I said, man, so what's going on, man? How you doing, man? doing great. How y'all doing? We're doing all right. We're doing cool. We appreciate you coming on to the show and no, showing support. I appreciate y'all having me. Oh, no problem. No problem. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to have a hustler on here. A real hustler. I'm uh, talking about this man. God, what do you got? Merchandise? Merch, merchandise. <laughs> you, mer merchandise. I, let me know. Because like, like I said, it's a personal friend of mine, man. Like I said, a real business savvy dude. Like I said, uh, graphic design. You know what I mean? Uh, he does the web and app designs. Oh, uh, Arthur. Like you said, uh, merchandising. Yeah, you know I mean, got that going on, man. And Arthur, just, producer, just, just, put, right? Listen, Any producing? listen. Wow. We, we, hey, man, we gonna let him get into it, though, man. And let us, <laughs> let him give us a little background, man. Tell us where it started, cause we know, I know you rap, I know you rap too. Yes. But tell me, like, what did you start out first doing? Um, rapping. Okay. Actually, like uh, when we were in high school, like teenage years. You know, um, I used to run with a gang. Let's just say that. Okay. We started right. rapping, and uh, this was before Rich the Factor, Funny, oh, before wow. Tech Nine, all them. And, you know, me right. and Tech Nine and all of us used to go to high school together. Right. Oh, so okay. we used to do the night lights every year at Southeast. You get up on the stage and do your thing. Tell them. Tell them. All right. All right. Well, yeah, that's good. Got one once a year. Yeah. And um, started off there, you know, and then we started releasing projects and whatnot. But we had to pay people to make beats for us, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. So I, was, I told my homie, I said, man, why don't, why don't you just let me make the beats? Uh, we right. learn how to do it so we can save some money. Right. And that's when I got off into producing. Started out with like a, you know, the Casio keyboard. Oh, the mixing, I, that, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I know wow. about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did it back for you Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, even back then, you know, it's crazy because I used it was, I would take a mixer, a keyboard, and a VCR. Wow. And running through the mixer, you know how dudes had a, the movies, <laughs> audio in the yeah. joints, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I was doing that like in the 90s. Oh my you know God, me? he put it so, together, he know, made it work, right. he worked with something. Yeah, I try to make, you know, make something out of nothing, you right. know. But then as time went on, you know, um, we were kind of just doing a lot of, it was violence, you know. And I heard right. y'all earlier with the interview with Camille, you know, yeah. there's a lot of violence yeah. and stuff like that. We was youngsters, you know what I'm saying, trying to find our way. And really, music was a, a way to express ourselves, outlet. you know, right. an outlet, you right. know. Definitely. And I, I still think that uh, youngsters nowadays, that's what they're doing with it, you know what I mean? they trying to find an outlet just to kind of express themselves. Uh, but after that, you know, I got it, we got into a lot of trouble, and I had right. to go, right. I ended up having to go. Uh, to the federal pen. Wow. You know, wow. Wow. and even even as uh, I think I remember, man, I I never got to go to prom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ended up going to uh, going to uh, county jail, man, right before I graduated high school. Actually, I never graduated. I got my GED. Well, right. that's right. a good look. Yeah. That's hey, still man. a good look. You still got that's your GED. That's so that's good God look, was man. with me, you know. Right. And Definitely. the thing about it, when I went to the federal penitentiary, that was like, I know penitentiary is not a good thing oh, for nobody, yeah. but. Yeah. Um, I took a computer class. Now I knew I knew how to work computers, but I never knew what everything was called. Right, 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 right. right. And once that happened, we and, and you know you're in the feds, so you with a lot of people from different walks of America. That ground. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here with guys from Virginia, dudes from New Orleans, dudes from New York, right. and we sitting talking. And Learn we got it. this book. It's called All You Need to Know About the Music Business wow. by Donald S. Pass. You know what? I read that book recently, so this book, so that book right there, yes. been around, yes. and it definitely helped me with a lot of stuff, though, yes, but go ahead, is. though, man. It yeah. is the, it's like a, a prerequisite, like something you have to read, mm -hmm. same way with uh, 50 Laws of Power, uh, 48 Laws of Power, laws Robert of power. Green. That's a great book, man. That's like something, it's a must read. <laughs> That's something we so, uh, yeah, well, when I, and, but when I came home, you know, I'll probably sit up for a second. 
when I came home, I promised God I would I would never sell drugs again. Right. Ever, no matter how bad the situation right. was or none of that. So I had to start thinking of other ways to make money. And that's wow. how all this other ventures come in. Yeah, man. Oh, money. Oh, now, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to personally say something, okay? Because graphic design. Yes. Graphic design. That's go to how, and that's and that's that's where that stem from. For you just getting on that. How did you get into actually, you know, doing artwork on the design? My dad, when I was little, my dad, he's a great artist. He knows how to draw. Like he's just cold blooded with it. And I oh, used man. to draw when I was younger, right? Oh, and I then, too. yeah, when <laughs> I got when I got up to the computers, and it's like, oh man, I could really create stuff with a computer instead of a pen. Right, right. You know. Oh, so God was with me, but I never went to college for none of this stuff. But right. Adobe Photoshop, CS3, right. That's my baby. You know what I mean? I love that program. Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop, <laughs> Photoshop <laughs> CS3. They up to five now. Yeah. Right. You feel me? But, but you know, then, I, that's what you was working with. Yeah, yeah. I mean I use it today. You feel right. me? Because yeah. it's like Definitely. it's like one of those programs that's universal. Once you know it, You'll always know it. It's like kind of like I don't know if Cass is even familiar with it. Once you have a beat machine, a DR five fifty is what I started out with. Right. Okay. Once you learn how to work a DR five fifty, you can work a DR five, <laughs> a MPC, anything, anything. an ASR ten right. because it's it's all the same. Right. You know the buttons and everything is pretty much the same. And, that, and that's and I understand that. Like when you learn how to ride that tricycle, you move from a bike, <laughs> you move from a mountain bike, move the motor. So it's all exactly. that means most yes, definitely. Sir. It all yes, trickles sir. down to each other. And I want to say something about that graphic because I don't know if y'all checked on my page. Clark Kent the Gent on Facebook. Y'all yeah. gonna see my graphic design, man, uh, as far as my, my, uh, my business cards and everything like that. And it's the man behind it. So all them likes y'all was giving me saying y'all like, y'all need to go to this man page, Dank Nitty. That's right. Because, hey, hey, he's, he's, you hear DR5s and Fit 550s. He ain't playing, he ain't talking about, oh, I use the computer with the pen back. He's giving you the name so you know he's serious about his craft, man. And that's what's up. Yeah, I mean, back then, man, I mean, it was a point where. Back in the days before the computers, making beats on the computers, we had to play the music all the way through sometimes. Right. Like if you got a bass line and your song is four minutes, you're going to play that bass line for four minutes. Right. Then you're going to come back and put some pianos in it, you got to do the same thing right. over and over again. Yeah. And we had the four tracks, right. recorders, you know. Um, but after that, you know, thinking about things like that, like last year, I got into writing like a book, right. you know. Uh, Amazon had this thing. They said, "Hey, if you can write a book, we'll put it out. We'll publish it for you." I said, "What?" Wow. And then they said, "We'll really? put it on. Uh, we'll put it in Barnes and Noble and Borders Books." I said, "What?" Said, uh, that's, like, that's that hustle that again, ain't? Eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm on my game. And see, I haven't, I haven't got a copy of that. So what, because you know what, it was one of those things that I was more excited just about the idea uh, right, right. than actually even doing it. I wasn't, oh, you know, I wasn't okay. at the point where like I'm just gonna write a book like a Steve Hart type yeah, deal, yeah. you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I wrote it because I was motivated because they said if you can write it and design it, we'll publish it. And so right. um, there, there came a point where they said, okay, we'll put it on Kindle but we're going to charge you $65 if you don't know how to format it. Right. And God was with me. He showed me how to format it. I oh, saved money. Man. So, you know, it was, everything was free. Right. So this dude just multi I mean, he just does everything. I tried. Writing, producing. Yes. Oh, my God. I tried. You know what I'm saying? Thing. Thank you. I, I mean, I feel like there's so many ways. When we, when I was younger, I wish somebody would have came and said, hey, man, do it like this. Right. Do this. Right. Let me show you this. Right. You know what I mean? T uh, turn the computer on like this and then click these buttons over here. And this is going to help right. you do right. this, Right. <laughs> So now I feel like that I'm in a position to help other people. That's, that's what I want to do. That's positive. That's positive. That's positive. It's definitely, it's definitely, you have your son. You have your son. Yes. My son, I had him since he was two years old. He's five. I'm right. a full-time daddy as well. Y'all see right. this right here. That's, that's a good man. So I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I, I want to do something different that was done with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. My daddy, yeah. I see him on weekends and stuff. And my daddy taught me a lot. Don't get me wrong. Right. He was there. But... It wasn't a twenty four seven thing. You know what I mean? I understand that. Yeah, and that's that. that makes me. I understand what women go through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like twenty four seven. Oh my God! You switched to the other side. Well, we got to the regular schedule program. Hey, 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 but yeah, but I, I do understand what they go through, you know what I'm saying? But I just want something different from him for him. Right, right. And then, you know, I listened I listened to the what y'all was talking about with Camille 
and a lot of things about what's going on with the young black brothers in the community and right. stuff like right. that, you know. I'm not one of those, I don't know, politics just ain't my thing, but I say right. this. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times in the community, what's, what's wrong right now is everything stems from the the need or, or the lack of money. Yeah. That, that's what okay. they say. If, if, you, if you think right. about it, everybody, everybody except the pedophile that ended up in prison, they was right. trying to get money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Except for the murderers or whatever. You know, right. but sometimes it was murder behind the money. Right. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? So the thing is with the young people is to try to teach them about being entrepreneurs. That's what right. I believe. You know what I'm saying? If man. you show them to the money, because when I was younger, you can't tell me nothing, man. Yeah. You got to show me something. Exactly. The bum can't tell me how to how to make money all up. Right. You, or you had to be in your situation to understand exactly. where you're coming from in order for you to say, okay, I'll listen. And exactly. That's what, that's right. Exactly. You know what? And, that, and that's important because, man, I can attest to that. I can attest to what this man is saying because when I first met this man, he didn't know me from Adam and Eve. He didn't, he didn't know me at all. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I came to him. And he said, hey, man, your word is good enough for me, man. So that right there showed me that how honorable this man was. And then he told me, he said, listen, bro, I can tell you how to do all this stuff. He said, but I'm not just going to give you a fish. This is the exact words, verbatim. He said, I'm not going to just give you a fish. I'm going to give you a fishing pole and teach you how to fish, too. So if I'm not around or anything, you can do it yourself, man. So when he's talking about that accountability and teaching other people how to be entrepreneurs, man, I, I'm, I'm a living testament to saying whatever everything this man is saying is, is correct. You know what I mean? So, so man, I appreciate you for that, bro. And like I said, so we built a relationship just off, <laughs> off of that, man. And it, right. and, it, and, it, and it's going to the top, man. I, I already yeah. know. Yeah, man. You you got to When I heard the music, man, I was at first, you know how you hear something and it's like, oh, it's cool. And then I heard it again. I said, Man, that's tight. Going Why can I play it? It's one of those songs kind of like when you first hear it on the radio. They say, here's the new song from 2 Chain. Oh, you hear it, you like. talking about this one here. Yeah, yeah you like, oh, that's know. cool. Right. Why she love me? Right. Why she love me? Why she love yeah, because he gave me, he, he, he showed me, the. I seen the link. I listened to the link, and it was yeah. like, sometimes on YouTube, the audio is less quality, right? right? right so I was like, that's kind of cool. But then he sent it to me, and I listened to it. I said, man, that's that's dope. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Thank and you. now I can Thank hear you. everything. You yeah. feel me? Right, right. And, and it's like one of those songs. It's like, I, I, I was saying to you, man, we need a hit. But then, it's, one, it. it's a hit. Right. It's a hit right. record. Oh, yeah. right. You feel it's me? It's a hit record. Especially when the women love it. Exactly. When the women, when the women rock to it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like the, the appeal to the women, that's because they are the ones who spend the money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And wherever the women are, the men will follow. Exactly. You heard that. Wherever the women are, that's just thirsty. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why like, I do a lot of street promotion. I mean, a lot of cats in Kansas City, I don't really see them when I be out, but I see some. Yeah. But I'm always out there passing out a flyer. I always keep some in my pocket, you know, okay. because I, I give them to women. Now, here's the thing. I don't really necessarily sometimes give them to men because I know how that is, right? I know women spend money, okay? And then I always women have... Women are supportive. They're, 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 they're very, supportive. very supportive. And it ain't no haters, no hating. Yeah, it's and not it ain't like that, right. though. So. It's not saying that you fellas are not. I mean, a lot of you guys are out here doing y'all thing. But like he stated, women are more supportive. We don't hate on, you know. It, it's not like that with us. So I, I, I totally right. understand. I think it's just like that, that mothering thing that's yeah, in that's the that, that, that nurturing. <laughs> like, I want to see my baby do good. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And then, like... Another thing, like, when I was in the streets, too, like, all the time, I always keep a female with me. Okay. That was another yes. marketing tactic of mine, promotional. Go give, you go give the guys flyers. You go solicit to the guys. I'm going to solicit to the women. Right. Yes. Y'all hearing some of these tips? He's giving y'all tips. He's it tips. always work, it works that. very well. Mm -hmm. You know very what? You know what, bro? Oh, I got to okay. take a quick and say, do y'all not hear this right here? Look at this. Right. Check, check him out. Check him out. Check him out making this beat right here. this demo. And look at how, you see how, and he was on point with it. And he was on point with it. Baby producer right here. I know was just peeping that. I was wondering if y'all was paying attention to yeah. That too. I, che I checked him out though, man. You want to ask some questions? What, what kind of questions you got? What do you like doing? You like playing games? What kind of games? <laughs> the card game. Okay, what else? What, what's the name of the card game we play? What's the name of the card game we play? The, the one we just played. Oh, <laughs> the one that you all. Uh, 
got it all out. Yeah, what's the card that we played? I taught you. What's it called? I. I declare war. Oh, I right. declare war. All That's right. what's going That's on. Good. Do you like them? And I have some more cards. Do you? Really? Yep, I have. Goldfish gum. All right. Goldfish gum. <laughs> <laughs> I have the one that tell you about God. Oh, mm-hmm. very smart. Yeah. Hey, really, the, 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 the whole interview smart. can be over. That, that, right. That, that, <laughs> he, he ain't, we ain't playing right we now. We know Daddy's teaching him right. Yes, I try teaching to, him about God. Right. I'm trying Man, to. that's great. Like, um, my daughter, I try to tell her the same thing, too, right? Uh, when she was little, I say, who is God? She say, Jesus. I said, where is Jesus? She say, in the sky. Oh, right, wow. that's your, you know. Yeah, you that's start it. off small. Right, yeah. And then she they all they'll gradually yeah. get it. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's what I'm talking and about. And that's what I want to teach him, too. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But um, like I say, a lot of things, man, oh. with, with the youth is, I just think we need to help each other by point each other to where the money is in a sort of a sense. Let's say, right. for right. example, um, the Bay Area guys, the New York guys, right? They've been getting money for years. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm yeah. saying? That's because they, they, each one is teaching one, each right? One. And then they share. Yes, they, man. they like, listen, man, I'm, a, I'm gonna show you how to get a quick thousand. Hey, I yeah. said, so what you want out of? Don't even worry about it, man. Get, get me back later. You right. feel me? Right. That's the same. Love. Yes. Love. You right. know what I'm saying? Like the same uh, about the fishing pole. You know what I'm saying? Teaching a person how to fish instead of just giving them a fish. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's the same thing I want to do for anybody, you know what I'm saying, that's doing music. I don't care if you're an entertainer, model. Uh, I don't care if you're just on a hair salon, right, whatever. Right. You know what I mean? I feel like there's other ways where you can achieve or, or be profitable and have a lucrative business yeah, than just, you know, we do CDs. That's good. Right, right. You know they about to play out. But... You know, right, we gotta right. think of other ways to make money. Right. You, you gotta stay ahead of, gotta right. stay ahead of the time. Right. Right. Because times are steady changing. Exactly. Definitely gotta stay ahead of it. So now with the artists, what one of the things I try to do is we have custom chapsticks, we have custom drinking mugs, we have custom lighters, wow. lighters custom magnets, Did custom t-shirts this? and keychains. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So like, you might be out in the streets and say, "Man, I got this CD." They like, "No, nah, I'm good." You know how it goes. Right, Sometimes right. Yeah. I, I done heard a million no's, yeah. but it don't stop me. It's like, all right, well, so you don't want a CD? Well, I got a keychain. Yeah. Oh, you don't want that? I got a lighter. You, you smoke? You need a light? Right. Ah, right. You know what, bro? I always need that. <laughs> hey, 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 boy, your lips kind of chapped. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> that that chap ice. And I'm going to put your picture on it. And you feel me? I can put you on now your own right. chapstick. See, man. now this is a hustler. I'm telling you. Thank you. Most definitely. This is the person you want to link up with if you need tips on anything from promotion to whatever the case may be. Music. I mean, the man does it all. Right. Right. You need graphic design done, man. My man got it, man. Like I said, yeah. Yeah, hey, like I said, I got my ringtone now. You know what I mean? The why she love me ringtone because <laughs> of this man right here. You right. know what I mean? That's he put me in the lane and helped me promote it. And like I said, man, I, I do want to say, you know, serious inquiries only, man. If you ain't serious about it and you ain't, you know what I mean? Don't waste this man's time because he's right. willing to help. But like I said, don't don't waste this man's time. And like I said, I know you got... Two LLC companies. You got the Urban Under Under uh, Urban Underworld, yes. right? Yes. Then you got the Black Boys. Yes, those right. are both. What what I did with those? Those are both sole proprietorships. I didn't do LLCs. Before. Okay, okay. Uh, but one thing that I did learn, and this was something that I learned in the penitentiary. I learned how to form a corporation in the penitentiary too, right. so I can help brothers. You know, if you want to do a sole proprietorship, just know it don't cost nothing. But my Thirty-two dollars. Right. Okay. You know, if you right. want to do a corporation, it's fifty-eight dollars. Right. The tax ID number is free. Right. Many lawyers are trying to charge you two hundred dollars an hour and give you a tax ID number. Right. Free. You know what I'm saying? Right. So a lot of things that are free that I, I, I'm willing to share with people. You know what right. I'm saying? That they don't know about what, especially right. with promotions. Uh, whether it's a, l- a little bit of game or anything that I know I'm willing to share. And you know what? Right. I definitely, like I said, once again, I can attest to that, man. Like I said, man, he's helping me copywriting. You know what I mean? Uh, trademarking. And dude, he's helping me with a lot of things. And like I said, he's definitely, and I don't want to speak for you, but I, I just want to say, just for the people, he's definitely willing to help. But I know, you know what I mean? He got he got kids to feed too, though. So like I said, he, he definitely ain't trying to hit nobody over the head. He, he'll give you some game and everything like that, though. But, you know, he definitely, you know what I mean, definitely support his movement too. Right. You know what I mean? Definitely support what he got going on. Like he was saying, just get me back later. Right. Make sure you cool, man. How do you feel about the show? Not to cut you off. No, I'm good. How do you feel about the show? Because I'm, I'm really, really interested in, you know, getting everybody's opinion in regards right. to what they feel about us right. having this show. I think it's a great idea. Mm-hmm. I think it can go very 
very far because I've talked to Ken, you know, um, about some other things about the show, like where you guys are planning to take it. Right, I think right. it's a great idea, and I, I also think that it's 20 years overdue. Yeah. Like, you know oh I mean? yeah. We, we yeah, really, we've been late. Yeah, we've been <laughs> Right. I would love to see DVDs of the the re-exposure. Yeah, you know, we're trying to. We're working. We're working on you know, that. Thank. You know. We're working on that. We, <laughs> hey, we gonna let I would you guys go get you that, on that. You know? <laughs> hey, most definitely. Hey man. So like I said, you already said, man, this is twenty years overdue, man. So I want to thank. Great, you know what I mean? Yeah. Great exposure team, too. man. Because you, without you, like without said, his energy, hey. without his extra icing on the cake, you I'm know. Just to put a little sprinkle. <laughs> on, huh? a little sprinkle. You had a little sprinkle, it's man. It's a little brown on my nose. Right? <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful brown one, baby. It's good. It's good. It's good. And we want to thank Dank, of course, for joining us on the show, man. Anytime. Giving us tips. We appreciate you, brother. Yeah. Thank you we so, do. so much. Thank y'all for that. Hey, y'all, Dank Nitty on Facebook. Check him out. Dank Nitty on Twitter. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So follow him. Re-exposure. Right. Redeem. That's right. That's on Facebook. Clark Kent the Gent. All and right. that's on Twitter. And Clark Kent the Gent on Facebook. Then we got New Africa TV. Uh-huh. Definitely check that out. New Micro Africa Buzz. TV. Micro Buzz right. TV. <laughs> on our YouTube. Right. www.youtube.com slash The Great Exposure. One word. That's word. Also, on <laughs> www.youtube.com <laughs> slash Choose Up Game, Up. you can find the CEO of the Choose Up Game, right. man. Clark Kent the Gent. Chase right. the most. <laughs> Seattle Bird. Hey, man. Dank Nitty. Hey, we got, we got Dank Nitty And like I show. said, we can't forget who's behind the scene. Shilly. Right, hey, go, go, check, go check him out. Shilly, New right. African TV. That's his productions. That's right. Hey, whatever you need. Documentaries. You need, uh, Exposure, you need promotion, yeah, whatever, promote. whatever. Hey, listen, whatever, right whatever you need, hey, whatever you need, we look got him up. It. Hey, contact us, we'll get in contact with Silly for you. Videos, ah, we ain't gonna get into him, yeah. videos, right? Because he got he, he's dope with that, too. Listen, man, we the team is winning, man. Everybody eats me, everybody eats, <laughs> smoke that, me. everybody eats, man. Great exposure, team, all right. Oh, and hey, we want to. We want to thank Little Keep Man up. out here <laughs> for beating for us. We, we, yeah, we, we appreciate that right Most now. Definitely. <laughs> thank.